Hi guys, good evening. Hi Kenya. Hi Jose. How are you? Hi teacher, good evening. Fine, thank you. Uh, how are you? Good, good. My my laughing because my son, he's like always mocking at me, like, hi guys, how are you? He steps in, he places himself in front of the computer and he imitates me how I greet my students every night. And he's like, hi guys, how are you? Good evening. You know, so it's funny to see him be my mirror of how I look when I tell you guys hi every evening. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy that you have a hat. Ha Did you have a good day today? Tell me. Hi, teacher. Hello. How was your day, Jose? Today was my day off. <gasps> Super. Wow. Wednesday? What? You, your day off is Wednesday, and then you work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. No, it's because today, nothing to do today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Tomo tomorrow will be very busy. Oh, okay, okay, super. Actually, okay. I'm working in a hospital who spent treatment against COVID mm -hmm. patients. And it's a very dangerous place. Yeah. In my case, people say that the symptoms that I have are related to COVID because I lost my the sense of smell and the sense of taste. And I have been having this flu like for one week now. So they think that it could be, you know, related to, to that. But I am, you know, I am faithful that it's going to go away. So I don't feel really bad, though. But there were days like Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I was in bed because I had fever and I had all the symptoms. But yeah, it's, it's, I guess every, every person has the symptoms in a different way, but I have lost the flavor for, I cannot smell or I cannot taste anything, mm -hmm. but I feel hungry. That's good. That's a good <laughs> symptom that I feel, even if I don't sense the food, but I'm always hungry. <laughs> So that's, a, that's a good thing. So, yeah. When I'm sick, I need to eat a lot. Me too. Every, I get hungry. Every moment. <laughs> uh, me too. It happens when I get sick. And for example, today, I wanted pollo campero. I was craving pollo campero. And I said, why am I going to eat pollo campero if I don't feel the smell or the taste? No, but I wanted taste. pollo campero. Yeah. So, I don't know. Hopefully... As the days go by, I will recover the sense of smell and the sense of taste. We'll see. <laughs> so guys, today we're going to be talking about adverbs of frequency or sequency. No, sequence adverbs. We're going to be talking about those today, okay? So what are adverbs of sequence? Do you guys know? Uh, finish and then and first of all, I think. Okay, so I have a picture, you know, that I love desserts, right? Kenya and Jose, you know that I love desserts. I love cakes, I love ice cream, I love chocolate, especially choco bananos. Those are my favorite. So I, I, I added this choco banano sequence. So do you guys know how to make choco bananos? Can you tell me? How do you make choco bananos? First, I think... Mm -hmm. What happened? I don't remember. I always buying it, but I know <laughs> how to prepare. <laughs> okay. Kenya, what about you? Do you know how to make choco bananos? Uh, I like it, choco bananos. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you prepare them? I imagine first we have to buy the bananas, right? And then peel the bananas, get the little sticks, Anna. the little wood sticks, huh? Place them inside then each banana. Put, put. Cut the bananas in half. Bananas and put in the fridge. In the freezer. Until get 
until they freeze. Freezer, okay. Until they're until frozen. They freeze and put the chocolate to the heat. Uh huh. And, and we have to stir. stir it, not to uh -huh. for it to melt. Then, melt. Mm -hmm. Until the chocolate melts, right? Uh huh. How do I say put in, in put into the chocolate, the hot chocolate? Then we have to and, pour it in the it fridge in, banana. In the frozen banana. In the frozen, frozen banana. Inside the frozen banana. Uh -huh. And then? Yeah, you're done. <laughs> and then you're they're done. And, then, and, you, uh -huh, and you either put it again on the freezer or you serve it or you start eating it, right? Uh -huh. It's ready to eat. It's ready to eat. Okay, super. Do you like choco bananas? Do you like choco strawberries? Do you like choco watermelons? Do you like choco what try choco grapes? I don't know. What do you like? I never had to try it. Honestly. Mm -hmm. Never? I never had to try it. Choco no. bananas. Choco always uh, only choco bananas. Oh, okay. Well, the other ones taste pretty much this. Well, they just taste like the, they're not the same. Like choco bananas, I think. Are, but for example, choco grapes or choco strawberries don't really taste the same. Like, no, it's better off with. But some people do like it it's just to combine. Even they do it with, in the United States, they, they do it with apples. But instead of chocolate, they glaze sugar. So they melt the sugar and they put it on top of the sugar and they place a stick on the apple. That way you can actually have a, a glazed apple with sugar. But yeah, everybody has sugar it. with sugar. <laughs> sugar with apples, yeah. Okay, so can you help me read, please? I have Masi. Good evening. Can you help me read, Masi? Describing a process or procedure, please. Can you help me read? Okay, teacher. Um Describing a pro procedure, or procedure, procedure, procedure. Mm -hmm. Describe a process or procedure means reading about how something is made or how something something happens. Mm -hmm. Example: the rainwater cycle. Mm -hmm. Cycle. Cycle. Duh. Mm -hmm. How coffee is grown. How glass is made. Mm -hmm. When you explain the step by a step, step order step. or how mm -hmm. step by step. step by step. Okay. Step by step, mm -hmm. order of how thing how thing happens or how things get done, you are describing a process. How to make coffee, how a sandwich is prepared. Very good. So it's not the same, we're talking about a process or a procedure. A process is like talking about the rainwater cycle or I don't know, the metamorphosis, for example. So that's a process or how coffee is grown. Mm -hmm. But when you do it, you do a procedure, it's when you explain something step by step. It's when we use those words like first, then, next, actually, later, and finally. So just to give you some examples. For example, we're going to, we were talking about how to make choco bananos, right? So that's a procedure. So how do you make choco bananos? First, you go to the market, you buy the bananas, you peel them off, then you get the sticks at any Dollar City or any store, you place the stick inside the banana, you place them on the freezer, then you get a bowl, you heat up the bowl, and pour the chocolate and you melt it, you stir, this is to stir, is to do this, until the chocolate melts, then you take out the, the banana mm -hmm. from the freezer, you place it inside the chocolate, and then it's ready. So that's just an idea, and finally that's ready. That's an idea of a step-by-step -step on how to do certain things. So today, you're going to pick one to describe to me from the exercises that I have. Now, sequence adverbs, can you help me read, please? Kenya, Jose. Hugo, who wants to help me read? Sequence adverbs? Only read. Mm -hmm. Read, please. Mm -hmm. Sequence? 
sequence adverbs are used to, is, to describe a series of things in relation with, uh, relation. with one another. Mm -hmm. One another in the order in which they occur or to yeah. describe a produ pro producer. Procedure. 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 The, the you, D becomes like a J. Procedure. 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 There you go. Procedure. Mm -hmm. You okay. can start? You can start, the, you can start the descriptions using fears. Continue first. with then. Next. Afterwards. After. That. Uh, in any order you like and conclude with the finally or last of all. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna this stop there. this I'm gonna, one. I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop you there. So as you see here, guys, first, then next, afterwards, after that, finally and last are just some examples. Those are the ones to your left. But if you check out the ones to your right, we have more transition. These are called transition words. They're like connectors. They help you connect ideas to have a sequence or to have a logic, okay? So this is a list. I will share this presentation with you, so don't worry. This is a list of words that you can have. First, next, then, lastly, finally, later, eventually, at last. So you don't have to say only first, next, next, next. The idea is for you to have more words, not to repeat the same words over and over again, okay? So that's the idea for you to have all these words there for you to use them, okay? That's the idea with this transition words. For you to have more vocabulary words to be able to communicate. The sequence verbs, adverbs are usually placed at the beginning of a sentence. So usually you're gonna say first, to make choco bananas first, you need this. Then, or after, eventually, and at the end, over time, and so on. So you're gonna use them at the beginning of your idea. Whenever you explain your idea, they will always go at the beginning, okay? Okay, look at the pictures and read. Help me please. Uh, Jose, can you help me read? Okay, we had a lovely day out yesterday. First, we took the bus to the center. Then we visit the design museum. We visit? Next, next, we have lunch. After that, we did a bit of shopping, and finally, we went to the theater. Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, if you notice here, guys, and this is something that I want you to take in mind. If you notice here, this is just a sequence of somebody's story. I want you to take this same example, and I want you to use it with your, with something you did yesterday, okay? About yesterday. Uh, something you did yesterday. Pretending that today is um, Monday and yesterday was Sunday. So I want you to go back and think of the activities that you did Sunday. And I want you to take this same example and use it with your information. Let me start, okay? I had a great day yesterday. First, I woke up really early and prepared breakfast for my kids. Then, I turned on the TV to watch the mass. Next, I went outside to my garden to shower the plants. And after, I did some origami crafts with my kids. And finally, we had delicious pupusas at night. That was Sunday. <laughs> okay, now oh, give me an example. Interesting. <laughs> <You're sorry. laughs> okay, now give me your example. Make your own example of Sunday. Uh -huh. Ooh, me. Mm -hmm. All of you. I want all of you to make your own examples. I have five connected, so five stories. You can start, Jose, if you want. Okay. Uh, Sunday, Sunday. About Sunday. Or today, uh, because today was your day off. Today. Yeah, the day <laughs> I, I did <didn't> anything. <laughs> okay, about uh, any day. Okay. My, today was my day off. Uh, first. I took a coffee in the morning, then I checked my social media. Next, I wrote the newspaper and the news. After that, 
I feel I felt so hungry and I prepared a sandwich and finally I had angry again and prepared <laughs> another sandwich. <laughs> what? You had two sandwiches. Sometimes I I ate three or or four. <laughs> okay, great. Super. Then you're gonna talk about that sandwich because you're gonna tell us your recipe using these steps. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jose. Okay, let's see, Masi, are you ready with your story? No, I don't ready. <laughs> okay, Ugo or Kenya or who else do I have connected? Mm -hmm. Are you ready with your stories? Hugo or Kenny? No? Uh, I know ready, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Think of your story. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to come back with you three, okay, to ask you for your stories. I'm going to move on. Okay, um, I'm not going to use this one because this one's not necessary. It's related to after. Okay, popcorn. Help me read, please. Um, Kenya, can you help me read popcorn? Okay. Uh, popcorn. Popcorn is something you often eat when you watch movies and the cinema. It is very easy to make perfect popcorn if you follow the correct proce procedure. Procedures. Procedure. Procedure. Procedures. Okay. First, put three tablespoons. Spoons? Of oil in a large of oil in pot. a large pot. Mm -hmm. Then have the oil on a light file a high until one flame until one kernel. Mm -hmm. kernel it's a granito de maíz, uh -huh. a kernel of popcorn. Of popcorn pops. When you drop in into the hot oil, now pour a quarter cup of popcorn into the pot and cover the pot with a lid. Mm -hmm. Reduce the file flame, flame, uh, mm -hmm. and gently, gently shake the and gently shake. Shake the pot. Gently key until the core has pocket, popped. 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 Mm -hmm. popped. popped. Finally, finally empty the poker into a large bowl and add melted butter and sell. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, any words, guys, from the vocabulary here that you don't know the meaning? Alguna palabra? Any words from the vocabulary? Uh, I, ha I have a question, but it's mm -hmm. the pro pronunciation. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. I heard people saying procedure. What Pro is the right pronunciation? Procedure. I right heard on. procedure. 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 Let me write it on, on what's up. <clears throat> I am telling Proce this mm -hmm. because I have heard a lot of people say in procedure, mm -mm. even this in, is, in conventions. <laughs> this is, this is, proceed, read it in Spanish, procedure. Procedure, okay. 
did you receive it in WhatsApp? No, uh, procedure. Okay. Like this in Spanish, procedure. The D in this case becomes like a Y. So it's procedure. procedure. Mm -hmm. And the other one that I, I heard right now, Jose, okay. it's pregunta is question. Like this question. Read it. Okay, I got it. Question. Question. No, shh. there's no, no not, shh. not question. No question. No question. Quest question. <laughs> no question. No. Question. Como question, but question. with an e. Question. And procedure. 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 And also, right. uh, I have heard people say mountain. And it's mount. Yeah, mount, mountain, mm, mountain, mountain, and with the plural, mountains. It's more difficult. Mountains, mountains. Uh huh. It's with difficult the with the s. Mountains, mountains. And here, is there any word from this vocabulary that you guys have questions in regards to pronunciation? Tell me so we can go over the pronunciation. Or the meaning, significado alguna palabra, any word that you don't understand from the, from popcorn? Uh, uh, cover the pot with lid. What is lid? Ah, tapadera. Mm -hmm. The lid. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Lid. And flame is llama, flame. Mm -hmm. Any other one? No? No other word? <clears throat> the pronunciation, the pot, and pot? cover. It's correct or Which no? one? And pot? cover. Which one? Pot and cover and the third line. Ah, uh -huh. pot no, and cover pot, the pot. Pot? Popcorn into a pot what? and cover the pot with the lid. Yeah, pot is that yeah. pan is cacerola, pot is olla. So the tapadera, it's called lid. So you pot. cover the pot with the lid mm -hmm. because pot is olla. That's what it means. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Any other word? No? No other word? And then kernel, kernel, it's the little grain, el granito, the maíz, for popcorn. Mm -hmm. That's a kernel. Granito, in this case, in this context. <coughs> okay, so let's practice. I want you guys to do some some exercises. The first one, one coffee. How do you prepare? So Jose was talking about him preparing himself coffee this morning. So Jose, tell me, how do you prepare your coffee with milk or just your coffee in your house every morning? Tell me the steps. First, then. Uh, first, first, I I'm going to give you the uh, list uh, here using the list. Mm -hmm. uh, first, I take a cup uh, list. Uh, first, I take a cup, and uh, next, I pour some coffee and into the cup. Eventually, I add some milk or not, <laughs> or oh, coffee milk. Okay. Then, I pour some sugar, and finally, goes to my mouth. <laughs> you have to be more specific. Some sugar could be a lot of sugar, two spoons of sugar, mm -hmm. one spoon of sugar. Two spoons. Two spoons. How do you sure. prepare? But how? But that's how you prepare. You serve your coffee. How do you prepare your coffee? Like how do you prepare yes. the from the beginning, from getting the water, putting it, all the process. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, first I I put some water on. Oven, not not. It's not an oven. <laughs> it's a stove. Well, La cocina. The stove. stove. Mm -hmm. so, the stove. Mm -hmm. uh, start the fire. Mm -hmm. Search lit, the lit the fire. Ah, lit the fire. Mm -hmm. 
create the fire, search the coffee, and search a cup. I put some coffee into the cup. As I search for the sugar. Eventually, I, I add some milk or add some coffee made. Then I put some sugar and melt all of the coffee. I add the heat water. Mm -hmm. mm, and it's done. Finally, it goes to my mouth. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Thank you. Okay, our next one. Crafty, how do you make a forky in two minutes? Who wants to help me? Masi, Hugo, or Masi or Hugo? Just have like Kenya left. Okay. Masi, you want to help me? How do you make forky based on the picture? How do you think you can make forky? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, give me one minute for search uh, the material. <laughs> okay. And um, what does it mean? No, no, no. How do you say limpia pipas in English? I don't know that the name in English. Which one? This one. Yeah, or or the coffee. It's a pipe. Something I forgot the names. Pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner. Uh huh. Pipe, pipe cleaner. cleaner. Yeah, pipe cleaners. Mm -hmm. I'll write it on the okay. on the group. Okay. Pipe um, cleaner. Okay. Pipe cleaner. That's how you call it. Pipe cleaner. Um. Well, the I first will help one? you. The idea is for me to help you. <laughs> Please. First, first one. Um, I get up. Forky, and okay. then I cook the forky. Well, first, is this a spoon? I think it's. Is it a spoon or a fork? That's my question. Is it a spoon? Is it a spoon, and you cut it to make it a fork, or is it a fork already? I don't remember. It's Maybe it's uh -huh, fork? because it could be a Both. fork. It could be a fork spoon. Well, for kids, it's more like a fork spoon, right? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Usually, kids uh, utensils like forks they bring like a little spoon. It's like it looks like this in the same shape. It's like a spoon slash fork. It's like both dual. You can use it for both. Okay. So tell me. I'm sorry, Masi. That was a strike. <laughs> no problem. Uh -huh. Um. Then I add the glue in the leaf leaf piper? No, no, uh -huh. pipe cleaner? Pipe cleaner. Mm -hmm. And mm, and I don't know how to say um What do you want to say? Um, we need um, I don't. Uh -huh. I put don't together. Remember. You can put, put together. together. Uh huh. Um, the, put together and last add um ice, a crazy ice. Uh -huh. <laughs> add some crazy ice. Okay. Mm -hmm. And finally add um. The pip mm -hmm. with a paleta, uh, I don't know. Sticks, wood sticks. Uh, They're called wood sticks. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
or popsicles. They're called popsicle sticks because they're used for popsicles para paletas. Um, they're called popsicle sticks. Let me write popsicle. It's popsicle. Popsicle sticks like this. Popsicle sticks. Mm -hmm. So you could say popsicle sticks. So popsicle okay. sticks to make the feet. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Super, thank you. Okay, let's go with our next one. So this was easy, but now, so Jose was saying that also aside from the coffee this morning or today, he had two sandwiches. So Jose is going to tell us how he prepares those delicious sandwiches. Tell us, what are the steps to prepare those delicious sandwiches? Mm -hmm. First, I have hungry. I search for the bread, slices of bread. Okay. I search for two, two slices. Mm -hmm. uh, then I search for the, let me see, ham, for, for the ham. It's correct, right? Mm -hmm. It's correct. Ham. Ham. Okay, ham. And mm -hmm. put two mm -hmm. slices of cheese. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I, I add some salt or hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And sit and enjoy finally. <laughs> so you don't you don't actually place it inside the oven. You eat it, you like no, cold these are uh, called cold sandwiches, not hot sandwiches. I don't like hot sandwiches. Uh-huh. So that's a hot sandwich. Cold sandwich, I'm sorry. I don't cold like hot sandwich. Always, okay. always eat cold. Cold sandwich, okay. Okay, super. Okay, what about you, Masi? What's your favorite uh, sandwich? Tell me. Or Ugo. And now we have also Kenya joined in again. Well, For Kenya, favorite sandwiches. Uh -huh. First, I search... Uh, Slice of bread. Mm -hmm. Slices, two slices and of bread. Then, uh, two, two slices of bread. Then um, I search um, white cheese. I look for white oh. cheese. Uh -huh. Or mozzarella. Ah, okay. Mozzarella cheese. Oh, yeah. Delicious. <laughs> yeah. The, the last I search... Uh, Pepperoni. Uh-huh. Wow. Okay. And you put them together. Yeah. So do you like cold sandwiches or hot sandwiches? Like, do you like to place them inside the oven or do you like to eat them that way? Mm, hot sandwich. Uh-huh. Hot? So you place them yeah. inside the oven? Uh-huh. For them to be yeah. a little, okay. For the cheese to melt. Yeah. <laughs> for the pizza cheese okay <laughs> super super okay kenya are you there or ugo tell us about your favorite sandwich let's see if they're connected uh -huh. hey uh, my favorite sandwich is cold and fierce prepare the the ingredients uh, next uh, put the lettuce ham and cheese on the bread uh, that, uh, and finally toss them super thank you wow okay nice what about you kenya uh, my favorite sandwich is mm -hmm. called uh, first I take a beer. Uh -huh. A slice of bread. Uh -huh. uh, I put mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Uh -huh. That's mayonnaise. called spread. Spread. I spread mayonnaise. It's to do this. Uh -huh. Spread. Uh, uh, okay. Uh -huh. um, then I put one slice cheese. One slice of cheese. Uh huh. Slice of cheese and ham. And ham? Ham. Mm -hmm. Tomato. 
tomato. Mm -hmm. Tomato and lettuce or letters or um, any other vegetable? Lettuce. Yeah, yeah. Lettuce, lettuce. Okay. or cucumber, uh -huh. pepino, cucumber. Some people like to add uh, cucumber too. Uh -huh. Like the Subway yeah. sandwiches. Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> and finally, I mm -hmm. put the luscious bread. Ah, okay. The last slice of bread. Okay, super. Thank you, Kenya. The last slice of bread. Do you guys like cold sandwiches or hot sandwiches? Mm -hmm. Us. Cold? Cold. 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 Okay, cold. Because if you like, like, you know, when you go to a subway, they always ask you if you wanted tostadito or not. So that's why I ask cold or, or because if you wanted tostadito, it goes inside an oven, right? They like toast it. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, talking about subway, what's your favorite subway sandwich? Which one's your favorite? Mine is a tuna sandwich. I love tuna sandwich. <laughs> what about I you? What do you guys like? Chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich from Subway? Chicken okay. sandwich. Mm. With a lot of For spicy me? sauce. <laughs> <laughs> For me, Italianissimo. Ah, Italian. Uh -huh. Bread. And uh -huh. the men menu? Italian. Menu? Italian. <gasps> From the from the bread, the bread I like the most is like, or I think it's it's parmesan, oregano parmesan. I think it is. I like that type of bread. What about you guys? What type of bread do you like? Parmesano is the best. Mm -hmm. Parmesano, oregano, huh? That that's the one that I like the most. Okay, super. Okay, so moving forward, huh? A difficult one. This is, by the way, a question for an interview. How do you make ice? What's the step one? Let's do this one together. Let's do this procedure together. I'm gonna write it here. How do you make ice? First? First, search for a bowl. First, look for uh, a Look for, for a, a bowl. bowl or a container. A container. Because it could be a, any type of container. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Or bag, teacher. <laughs> ah, okay. Or a plastic bag. Mm -hmm. Okay, or a plastic bag. Then, then what happens? Add uh, uh, the water. Water. Then add water. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Can you see what I'm writing on my screen? Can you look at what I'm writing on my screen? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Okay. I can okay. Watch. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Ah, okay, so you can actually look at those steps. Okay, and then? Okay, so first, uh, look for a bowl or a container or a plastic bag. Then add water. Uh-huh. And place it final inside. No. And finally, place the container with water on the freezer, right? For how many hours? Um, for about 30 minutes. Really? No. Wow. <laughs> Not my refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> His wow. refrigerator is super potent, very a lot of energy for a couple hours. Bye. <laughs> for a couple of hours and ready right first look for a bowl or a container or a plastic bag then add water and finally place a container with water on the freezer for a couple of hours until it freezes of course freezes <laughs> and I then you're ready into uh, about two minutes. minutes because we're uh, i am working and sometimes with the cold chambers and uh -huh. uh, we we prove the function of the machines uh -huh. if the water turns to ice in three minutes it's fine <gasps> that's super i want a freezer like that <laughs> sometimes these cold chambers are used for the bodies mm, 
Mm, yeah, like the free my freezer maybe takes forty minutes, maybe one hour for the water to freeze because it's a small refrigerator, very small. So maybe sometimes <laughs> one, more than one hour to freeze. But that's super. It has a lot of energy to be able to freeze yeah. super fast. Uh huh. Okay. They are powerful. Powerful machines, of course. Uh huh. Until until it freezes. Mm -hmm. Super. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay, and let's do another exercise here. Oi, sorry. Okay, it's your turn now. Tan 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 tan. Okay, help me. How to make a good cup of tea? Uh huh. First, boil some water. Okay, so here I would write first. First, boil some water. Okay. Uh huh. Then. Number two. Then. Here it would go then. Then. Put. Put one tablespoon, a teaspoon of tea per person in a teapot. Number three. Next. 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 The boiling water into the pot and for five minutes. Okay. Number four. Afterwards, that afterwards. Afterwards? Mm -hmm. Afterward that. Or after that. Mm. Could be after that. Mm -hmm. So I would say here after, after that, because we have that. So afterwards cannot go with that because it's already giving you that, that with words. So it would be after that, not afterwards that. They don't combine. So it would go after yeah. that, stir the tea and pour it just because it doesn't make sense. Okay. It's because afterwards and that don't go together. And then you would say afterwards here, maybe afterwards would go here. Afterwards, add milk or lemon if you want. And then the last one. In your, in your soup. Oh, mm -hmm. you, finally. Finally, you will feel really will refreshed. Feel refreshed. Have you, do you guys, have you tried tea before? Have you ever tried tea in the past? Mm -hmm. Have you tried tea? Yeah. No. Yeah. Have you ever tried tea with lemon or tea with milk? With no. lemon. With lemon? What about milk? Yeah, I never, I never had tried it with milk. Uh -huh. That's pretty much like going to Starbucks and having that chai tea, like that, like somehow like that. It's milk with tea. Um, it's delicious. You should try it whenever you can with milk or with synonym. And this is something they have in the UK, okay? Like in the US, people like to have coffee in the afternoon at 3 or 4 p.m. In the UK, people like to drink tea with milk or with milk, like we see on the picture here, with milk, with synonym, with brown sugar, not white sugar, brown sugar. Mm -hmm. So they have that, okay? Uh, in my case, I try to do tea, but with mint. Mm -hmm. Mint. Oh, Ah, with mint, huh? Is it yeah. delicious? Yeah. You know what I have tried with mint? A lemonade. Lemonade with mint. <gasps> no. Super, guys, delicious. Uh, I tried it in Santana. I remember I was invited to a, to a birthday party in Santana, and it was really hot. So the refreshment they had, it was lemonade with mint. 
to, for you to feel like fresh. It was delicious. Whenever you have the opportunity, try it. It's delicious. It makes you feel, you know, fresh. It makes you feel fresh. Super good. Uh -huh. I will try tea with mint. Mm -hmm. I oh. have a, a mint plant. A mint plant. And yeah, try. I, yeah. Have you ever tried I, lemonade sometimes with I mint? make coffee. With mint? I sometimes I made tea, tea, tea of mint. Uh -huh. I took I sometimes I take some some <clears throat> how do you say leaves leaves right leaves uh -huh. leaves some leaves you take off some leaves from the plant leaves some leaves uh -huh. and boil or some water and put the leaves into the water and the tea is done mm, super delicious yeah it 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 sounds delicious I will try I will try a tea with mint and I will try also well I you know what I could try even try coffee with mint why not maybe it changes the flavor in in they sell sometimes coffee they sell they mix coffee with other ingredients to make it gourmet coffee and sometimes I guess they they, they can mix even mint to it I'm gonna try I'm gonna give it a try that's a good <laughs> coffee yeah. with soda <laughs> coffee with soda <laughs> I have never tried coffee with soda. No. Have you ever tried coffee with soda? No. No. <laughs> uh -huh. I have tried coffee with pepper. Uh, Black pepper. What? Uh, and salt. Yeah. Uh-huh. And salt. Indian people, Indian pe with pepper and salt. Indian people do it that way. And with chocolate, like the chocolate that you buy, the chocolate from the chocolate like el negrito, you know, the, the, I don't know how to say tablillas, you know, the round things that you, okay, that chocolate with coffee, I have tried that too. I'm sorry. I'm confessing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on. <laughs> no problem. Okay. It's great. Yeah. Okay, so moving forward. Okay, how to make a salad. Okay, let's, here we have the steps. I want you to tell me which one goes first and which one goes next. Then, after, and finally. Uh -huh. So tell me. Uh, first, uh, the number C. Yeah, the letter C. You buy uh, all the ingredients for this from the supermarket. Okay, first. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this first. is your first. Let me write. Uh -huh. Let me see. Okay, so first, you buy the ingredients from the supermarket. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, e. Chop the lettuce, tom tomatoes, onions, and cucumber. Okay. Um, B. Grate some cheese and add a pinch of salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Um, but you're not using the words. You're not using the first, then, after, finally. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, so first we buy all the ingredients from the supermarket. Then? Then chop the lettuce, tomatoes, tomatoes. onions, and cucumber. Cucumber, cucumber, cucumber. cucumber. What, is, what is cucumber? Pepino, cucumber. Uh. Let me write the pronunciation. It's pepino. It's a pronunciation is cucumber, like this cucumber. in Spanish. Cucumber. Next, grate uh -huh. some cheese and add a grate of salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. After. Mm -hmm. Mix well. But we're missing A and B. What happens with A and B? We're missing add some tuna and mix well. It's 
mute. Hi guys, something happened. I don't know what happened. Okay, let me go back to the presentation. So we were talking about, we had already, um, we were missing A and B, right? Right. In... Mm -hmm. So finally you after sprinkle that, some that, oil, that, but uh, uh, after uh, that? Some, after that, add some tuna and mix well. And then finally, and finally, sprinkle some oil, olive, onto salad and enjoy. Very good. Do you like tuna salad? Have you ever tried tuna salad or not your favorite? Not really? No. Mm -hmm. No. I have never tried it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Well, I like, I like, uh, but I like just tuna, um, garlic tuna and oregano tuna that they sell at the supermarket. Sardimax, I love it. That, but tuna, plain tuna, I have not tried it with, with, with mayonnaise yet. Okay. Okay, so this was a presentation for, okay, for our sequence adverbs. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to go to the platform, okay? Really quick so we can do the exercise. You can watch the video. The video is here. It's pretty much what we just went over later on, but since time is running up, I want us to do the exercise on 4.2. Teacher, could you send me the presentation? Sure, yeah, I can. Oh, 4.5, I'm sorry. 4.5. Super, yes, I can definitely send it to you. Okay. Well, I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to do it. Mm -hmm. I'll give you like two minutes so we can go over the answers together if you want. Mm -hmm. 4.5. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, go with the answers together. Are you ready to go with the answers together? Uh, I am. Okay. Jose already has the answers. Masi, do you have the answers? Yeah. Okay. Kenya? Hugo? Yes. Ah, okay. Super. Let's go over the answers together then. Okay. So, for the first one, which snack does this recipe describe? When the kernel starts to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. Choice number three, popcorn. Excellent, very good, popcorn. popcorn. We talked about kernel, which are the little grains, right? Of corn in this case. Number two, what is the last step in making guacamole dip? Choice number one, finally add finally. a little salt, pepper, and hot sauce. Excellent, which is our last sequence advert, right? Finally, that's our least finally. last one. Mm -hmm. Number three, what's the first step in making a toasted bagel? First. Number two, first, cook it in half. Half. The H becomes a hot, the half. Cut in the, oh, it's all no. cut it in half. Oh. Cut it, cut oh. it in half. Half. Cut it in half. 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 Excellent, excellent, Masi. Number four, which sequence adverbs are not interchangeable? Which ones you cannot change? First and finally. Exactly, you cannot change them because one goes at the beginning and the other one, so you cannot play around with them. Like next, after that, then you can move them around and play with them. They don't have like a specific order, okay? But the first one and finally one, those are interchangeable, okay? Very good, guys. Okay. Okay. Super. Wow, we did so many in an hour today. I feel, felt that was very productive. So um, <laughs> tomorrow is our last day for this third week. Next week is our last week, so we still have one more week to finish the platform. Go ahead and work on it. You can go ahead and finish if you want to finish in advance. That's not a problem, okay? Um, I'll see you tomorrow, same time. Thank you so much for joining, and enjoy your
fathers today. That's a special day, okay? Okay. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful evening. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.